Uh, yes, there we go. <laughs> the microphone was on. Doubted the microphone was on. And so it came out as an... Uh, oh, welcome back. We are back in... To Graveyard Keeper. Hello, Wiz Froggy, And hello, everybody else. Have snacks been acquired? Locked on to snack. Snack acquired. Mmm, tasty. But welcome back, we are now graveyard keeping. Hopefully, come on, there you go. I always doubt it, I always doubt it, but uh, it usually works. Never a 100% never guarantee though, I, uh, which is always annoying. Always look on the annoying side of life. I do, I really, really do. Oh, it's now bedtime. Oh, that is fair. Goodbye, Butternut. Enjoy bedtime. And enjoy enjoy your dreams of quivering goose axe. Because that's what's going to happen. You're going to wake up tomorrow morning going, Yep, I just had eight hours worth of quivering goose axe in my dreams. I didn't need this, but it happened anyway. Damn. But good night, and thank you for attending. Um, <laughs> it's not really a t an attendance sort of thing, but still. Thank you for... Watching, I suppose, is the key thing. Uh, I used to say thank you for watching a lot. Used to have a, I used to build specific sort of cards at the end of uh, the YouTube videos for thanks for watching, and I used to theme them to the game, of course, which was uh, always enjoyable to figure out how best to do it. Uh, but yeah, it's enjoy your quivering goose axe and enjoy your bedtime, and possibly. Combining the two and quivering your goose, da goose axe whilst in bed. Um, possibly not something you need encouragement for. Uh, possibly something unwise. Anyway, we'll do Sunday and deal with our boy here. We'll deal with our boy, the bishop, and uh, figure something out. I apologise for the fact that it sort of jitters. Uh, I, I don't know why it does that, and I can't stop it. Um, stop the rock. I can't stop the rock. You gotta stop the rock. I couldn't if I wanted to. Uh, he's a very big man. Uh, he would instantly just run and straight over me, and I would not stand a chance of stopping the rock. Ew! Where is my stuff? I must have taken it off. Bollocks! I took it off my bollocks. Uh, yes. I remember now. I was doing dungeon crawling, so I took my bits and pieces off. So I need my uh, faithy thing. I must admit, I usually keep that on just to not have to put it back, but I suppose I was really after inventory space to really maximise my dungeon crawl. Not that I did, I only got through like a couple of levels and then I got killed. Because uh, I am useless. Which I think I did survive, but I was near death. Uh, which is just as useless, I think. But never mind. Do I have the improved pew? No. Uh, no, church bench. Stained glass window, though. I don't think I've got the gold jewels. I do have window. I do have glass available. I do have sort of those. So I might be able to get. Uh... Well, I haven't said that. No, maybe I've already got a stained glass window there. I mean, it certainly looks like a stained glass window. And if it looks like a stained glass window and it quacks like a stained glass window, it's probably a stained glass window. Um... Did you intend to do uh, sort of almost a pun, but you'd kind of aborted and went for quacks? No, yeah, yeah. It would have been better if I'd said if it cracks. It would have been a better joke there, but unfortunately uh, that's not what I said. So just have to do a redux at some point. Uh, we'll do a little redux and change it up. Now, for everybody, I want this blossom. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he likes it. Your donations are welcome. Great sermon, sir. Great sermon. Our, our great sermon. Lovely sermon. Hey, we like your sermon, sir. Oh, some nice chunks of change there. Almost a full silver. And by almost, I mean it's a good 30 off, but still, it's better than a kick in the pants, isn't it? Better than a kick in the bollocks. Most things are. And better than a kick in your quivering goose hack. Yes, indeed, it very much is. Right, so, goals. 
goals for today i don't know is the honest truth i'm just sort of wandering around aim fairly aimlessly in fairness fairly aimlessly what sort of quests could we possibly try and do we still need to figure out how to get acid and i don't know how and i am slightly tempted at this point to just look it up but i'm kind of hoping i'll stumble upon acid at some stage it's just it seems so unlikely uh, bring the necklace from snake we need to get to no snake which means we need necronomicon uh, we need to get the necronomicon from the astrologer so we need to deal with his stuff uh, get rid of the inquisition guards at which he'll build a snack tent we need beer to get beer we need never stumble into acid no it is wise not to uh, I'd, I'd be able to become like sort of two-faced though which could be fun uh, create a magic pumpkin take the ancient lockpicks from the miller but we, for that we need a comedy show um, and apparently we need a drum set in the tavern and I don't know if we just automatically have one or not it's weird the way it specifies a drum set but I've not found anything to indicate that I can actually build a drum set specifically but there you go uh, find the vampire bring her a pumpkin ask her to enchant it take the priest's medallion from dig make booze or ask snake for some uh, I suppose we could ask Snake for some booze, but I don't know. Uh, Kresvold might want the legend, uh, might want something for the legendary dagger. So we maybe. I felt like we went and saw Kresvold, and he didn't say anything about the dagger. Oh no, no, we didn't. No, I tell you what, let's let's at least go and chat to him. I think it would be the wrong order for stuff, so it would prove awkward. Uh, dead horse is what we we're after. Um, but we'll at least go and chat to him, see if he does want something in return for this dagger. Do, 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 do. Uh, which might at least point me in a direction to do something. Uh, I know a lot much like the annoyances of graveyard keepers. I'll be brief. May I borrow your ancient dagger? <laughs> I'd be happy to give it to you forever, but first you have to help me. Her Adric's mood has been too pleasant these last few days. Let's spoil it. Many people visit her Adric's tavern just to listen to Miss Charm's songs. But afraid her to sing in your tavern too, and her Adric will turn green in anger. Okay, I can probably do that. Uh, but I suppose I need to talk to Miss Charm, which means we need to wait until Women's Day. Uh, luckily, Women's Day is only a day away. Uh, Women's Day is only a day away. Which unfortunately means more tavern shenanigans, I suspect, which is something I'm clearly not very good at. We do need to st still do something with Merchant's Day. Seven crates. I don't think I've sold seven crates. Let's have a look here. Uh, crates sold one. I, I think that's just, like, recently I've sold one. Um, I, th I've, I am already at Fame Free, so that's fine. I just need to sell more crates, I suppose. Seems a reasonable plan of action to perhaps go and deal with some more crates. We've sold, we'll call it we've sold at least one. I'm fairly certain I've sold a few more than that, but we'll classify it as I've sold one. And now let's try and build some more. Okay, so I do appear to have 21 onions. Uh, I don't think that's the situation necessarily going to help me. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be just all nails all the time because it's one of the easiest things to just build constantly so we just sort of want 64 nails we can grab 64 nails that'll do nicely uh, there we go a little over the odds isn't going to make much difference because obviously I want to sell more crates but we'll do sort of possibly inefficient but we'll do like one at a time and go from there I suppose so there's a one box of goods so that's officially That'll be two crates sold. Whoops, no, I wanted uh, more nails in that place. That's the one. No, no, yeah, no, do, do it. Do it now, please, do it now. Do, do. It's a shame this isn't blue training, because if it was blue training, that would come in very, very handy. All right, it's, it's going to be... I, I, you know, There's not a lot I can do. It's going to be very repetitive. It's going to be sleep, make nails. Sleep, make nails. Sleep, make nails. Hey, I'm Sleep McNails. Or as fucking nails me. But I sleep all the time, so you don't have to worry about me beating you up. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's build a load more nails. 
And now it's Women's Day. Is it Women's Day? Is that Women's Day? That is Women's Day. So here is a second crate. So now we've got three guaranteed. Yeah, three. I can maths. Basic maths, I can maths. Uh, I can't do... Can't, well, actually, I can do... It's weird. I can't do basic maths, but I could do something what would be classified, I suppose, as slightly more complicated maths, which is quadratic equations. For some reason, I still remember how to do quadratic equations. Or at least I'm 75% certain I can do quadratic equations. I can also do percentages there. Um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure why... Uh, of all the mathematics and disciplines available, quadratic equations was the one that stuck in my brain, but for some reason it did. And that's one of those mathematics that really doesn't crop up in everyday life, uh, so it makes it slightly more pointless to have it rattling around in my brain. But there you go. Never mind, I suppose. I believe that was four crates we've done now. I suppose it's one plus however many crates are downstairs. Um, so we'll just keep building crates until we're satisfied, I suppose. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh no, I need flitch now. Shoity flitch. Shoity, shoity flitch. Uh, bloody shoity flitch. It's fine. It's quite annoying though that it takes so much energy to use a fucking powered machine. Um, he doesn't even look like he's supposed to be using like, a foot pedal or anything. It's, it's a powered machine and he's just garbage at it. Oh, I'm sorry, my dear, but I can't waste my time chatting. Please understand my income depends on the number of songs I sing. That's why I wanted to talk to you about. Could I hire you to sing in my tavern? Well, I suppose I could find some free evenings for you. It would cost 20 silver for the first show. And if everything goes well, I'll agree to perform for free next time. Um... No, I've got 20 silver. It's successful. But yeah, I agree. It's fine. My dear, my voice is more valuable than you can imagine. But it's, you just said it was worth 20 silver. I've given you 20 silver. Uh, so, return to Cresfold. Excellent. We can do that. We can return to the man over here. He's gonna tell me to do something else, I'm sure. But I can probably do that as well. Let's talk to the man. Miss Charm agreed. I guess as much for Roderick is terribly upset and it's a nice change. So here's my dagger. By the way, I had one other dagger, but I lost it. It's pretty expensive, so can you look for it in the forest? I don't know how important that dagger is, but... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look for your dagger in the forest. Um, I don't know if that's something obvious that I can do or whether it's going to require energy. So obviously at, the, at the moment it's slightly awkward because I do not have any energy. I am energy down. Uh, but we'll still have a quick wander around the forest and see if we can find a dagger. Is this the dagger I see before me? Nope, it's a tree. Uh, that's a tree. This is a tree. This is a tree. That's a tree. Masked Hero Acid doesn't end well either, does it not? I don't know the Masked Hero Acid. Is that a, a Yu-Gi-Oh card or is that someone else entirely? Because I feel like, I know that there was Elemental Heroes, but I don't know if there was Masked Heroes. I can't deny uh, the Baron is in the woods. Oh, hello, what's he doing? Oh, strange. It was right here. I stuck it in that stump. What are you on about? The thing is, I decided to choose a successor according to the old ways. Only the most deserving gypsy can pull the dagger from the charmed stump. Yesterday I found a dagger right here, stuck it in that stump and read the spell. Now it's gone. Hmm. Was that one of you yesterday? Four gypsies and the logger and that engineer I'm Cory. Uh, so ask the logger and Cory about... Oh, that's you're the logger, I think, aren't you? Are you the log logarithm? Uh, about the dagger. He was out of one. Great, eh? I'm so much happier here than I was in our big, boring, luxurious mansion. 50 push-ups and a bark sandwich and you're the king of the world. 50 push-ups? Mmm, so you could easily have pulled that dagger out, couldn't you? Aha. I wasted a whole hour beside that stump with nothing to show for it, alas. Oh, now it's Cory's turn to be interrogated. Uh, hero, masked hero, elemental hero, and evil hero. And technically destiny as well, surely. Uh, destiny heroes. Um, unless they're not considered in the same sort of arena, but I'm assuming they are. You do usually see destiny and uh, elemental heroes crop up together. Are you Cory? I think you are. About that dagger. 
Hello. Corey, you ever consider becoming a gypsy baron? Hmm, I must have heard about the dagger. You tried to put it out too? No, it was too late. Did you do it? I tried half the night. I was planning on selling it to one of the gypsies, but I failed. Maybe Tress knows something. Who's Tress? You're the, the, the brother, I think. So where's, where's he gone? I don't know if I'm going the right direction this time. Uh, oh, hey, wait, come in. Too many heroes. This is Tress. Eh? And there you, there you are, and they still suck. That is a shame. Although I've seen a couple of semi-successful... I mean, certainly successful against me, I suppose. There's a very different... It's a very low bar, bar to be successful against me at Yu-Gi-Oh! But nonetheless, I have seen them work quite uh, heavily. Um, usually going into Destiny Hero... The big one with the fancy wings that absorbs your monster. Can't remember which one it is. Um, but nonetheless, it's, it's big, nasty and horrible. Oh, sorry, I'm busy washing mushrooms. Wait, but what are you cutting the mushrooms with? I use a knife, but uh, this morning I lost it. Fortunately, I found some old dagger stuck in a stump. Here, you can take this old piece of junk if you want it. That's funny, I just spoke to the future Gypsy Baron. Uh, do I actually take it back to someone? No, I don't know. Let's have a look. Nope, I think I just it. I now have a dagger. Oh, you've got a dagger. That's the legionary dagger. And that's the rare dagger. I don't know what I do with the rare dagger. Maybe I'll take it back to the Gypsy Baron. Let's go find the Gypsy Baron. Where's the Gypsy Baron? Come here. Uh, so many UR points just to end on a single Nibiru token. Yeah, that's fair as well. Yeah. Um, if you do it properly, you can sort of get that sort of thing going. Uh, now, this is interesting. I can sort of buy a very fancy sword. A damask sword with a gem. I happen to know it's not worth buying that. Slight spoiler, but it's not worth buying that. Uh, you want to leave that alone. Hello, Gypsy Baron. Are you really a Baron Gypsy? Apparently, he has nothing to say to me, so I will just pop back to Sweet Home. I pop my dagger in my random chest. Mm, I keep the legionary dagger on my personage for now. Uh, right, so we want merchants, Day. We want to definitely take those bloody dinners to that bloody merchant so we can bloody well do something bloody productive. I know it's bloody unusual, but on this occasion, we want to do something productive in this game. And I know, don't usually do that. And it's going to feel weird, and you're not going to like it, but... Mm, gonna happen uh, work it work it real good yeah and now yes we want to find out that yep more nails are needed I believe that's number five I think we get we do get bonus nails for constructing nails so I think we are sort of making with in fact I not quite We'd need 128, I believe, and we had 122. But yeah, I've been building those, and it's almost it's almost broken into having two lots at once. Now, again, be very, very careful because we need bloody uh, merchants day. Oh, and also master hero. You did mention master hero. We have gone through master hero. In fact, master hero is where we started. <laughs> master hero dark lore. He's a macro cosmos on legs, so anything that would go to the graveyard is banished instead. Oh, I see. That is not good than ears. Right, anyway, let's hope. Uh, I've lost count completely, but we'll go downstairs and find out, I suppose. Doo -doo. Uh, can I? I don't think I can just take the lift downstairs. No, I've got to go. Got to go around the yard way, but we'll head underground. Sort this out. So we at sun. So we at. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and one more makes seven. We don't have any alcohol at the moment, sir. So what I would like to do is there we go. If I can just just get in there with my zombie, because I've got quite a few. I'm just going to trade this zombie for that zombie. And you know what? I'll help, I'll help you out, mate. Come on, come on, chief. I'll race you. No, I'm beating you. I'm beating you. Oh, mate, I'm beating you. Uh, much faster than you, zombie pal. Which is not that surprising. Uh, anyway, 
Oh, shite, I forgot the dinners. You let me do that. You let me get all excited about taking him his dinners. And then you let me fucking leave the dinners in the fucking tray. I entirely blame you. You let me get distracted going down here. Oh, I suppose I might as well take another one with me now. Come on, zombie friend. Look, I've done two. You've only done one. Get a bit of a shifty on, son. It's not what we need. It's not what we want. We want you to be quicker. Although, having said that, I need more more platforms. Else he will stop. But he'll carry on later, so it's fine. Right. Those dinners. You. Creepy. I don't want you to be behind me. But, uh, looks great. You're a real chef. Tomorrow the court will flood with rumours about tonight's dinner. Come see me next week and I'll tell you how it went. Uh, let's talk business. Our company has become well known. Great. Now we see why the baker gave me a free party this morning. People are starting to talk about our products. High quality. Too bad we can't sell more than 10 crates per week. Darn license restrictions. But the better fame we have, the better price I can get. So we'll be able to think about expanding our production line. You know, the town does not live by bread alone. Uh, right, I need more sales. More sales, please. Now, have we finally gotten... No, just gold grape seeds, which... Yeah. I'll probably afford a fair amount of grape seeds there. Uh, shall we grab all, all of the grape seeds? Go on, let's grab all of his grape seeds. All right, Chief, I'm going to grab you by the grape seeds. I hope you don't mind some. Uh, probably will need some silk at some point, but right this very second... Of no real consequence, so finish the offer and let's take grape seeds home. And I might as well plant the grape seeds. Well, having said that, I might as well go to bed first. Get my full energy on, get all of the energy back so that we can make the most of our situation. Yes, indeed. I was looking around, that's why the voice probably went off a little bit. <laughs> Uh, where did we go? I don't know now. I'm confused. A uh, grape farm. We want to go to our grape farm. The farm for many grapes. Uh, did you did you get your snack, Mr. Bush? Uh, did you enjoy your snack? Have you eaten your snack? Maybe you're chowing down on it right now. In which case, you wouldn't have eaten your snack yet. But... Uh, are you snacking in a suitable fashion? Are you snacking on your bits and your bubbles? Uh, do, 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 do. Greg's Donuts? My word. You are the most decadent. Um, sounded a bit more sarcastic than I had intended it to sound. I apologise. Uh, I wouldn't say no to a Greg's Donut, I'd like to point out. Uh, in fact, I would very much say yes to Greg's Donut. Um, I would say yes to any donut, frankly. Uh, i tell you what, I, I, I quite like the... I, I do quite like the Subway Donuts. Because they remind me of old, traditional McDonald's Donuts. Because when McDonald's did away with their... Um, just simple chocolate covered donut a, a, a little piece of me died as well because they were the, the simple McDonald's donut for me I think was one of the greatest donuts to ever exist and I know it's a bold claim but I stand by it I loved those donuts so when they decided no we're not going to do those donuts anymore it was it was a it was a chilled day in the bowels of hell, um, and it was a disappointment beyond comparison. But there you go. These things are these things. Uh, hopefully, I can gather all of my grapes. Excellent. I appear to have all of my grapes. Marvelous stuff. But yeah, the closest I found is the Subway chocolate donut. That comes a little bit close to being ever so similar to the traditional McDonald's donut. And that pleases me greatly because, as I say, I did enjoy that uh, old school donut. But I can't deny, I do quite like their cookie. Um, it's not the best cookie I've ever had, but the, the McDonald's cookie, sorry, Subway cookies are some of the best cookies around. 
um, McDonald's cookie is a little bit tough and chewy. Nice, but I specified a little tough and chewy. Um, we'll do berries first, I suppose. And then uh, grapes. Uh, you need to pop the brain tree. Tim Hortons. Their chocolate dip donut is lush. Perfection. I will possibly try and remember that. Is that just the town of Braintree or like Braintree Freeport? Because I know where Braintree Freeport is, which I suppose arguably suggests I know where Braintree is. Uh, <laughs> but I don't, I don't know specifically uh, if, it, if it is a sort of place in Braintree. Um, in the town, okay. That's slightly more difficult. Uh, you do it's near the business park. No clue. Um, but I will take your word for it. I will take your word for the fact that it's near a business park. Damn it, I don't have any more wine. Oh, I do have a little bit more wine there. Oh, there we go. That'll do nicely. Craft that bad boy. And then a pile of grape juice, berry juice, uh, grappas, grappa juice. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. How many grappas? Not enough grappas. It's fine. Uh, and not enough berries or anything else. Uh, drive through. Is it a drive through donut shop? Ooh, that is quite good sounding. I don't mind driving past and driving through donuts. I like to drive through the giant donuts around here. Do do. Come here. Uh, let's put some of this stuff away. Uh, so I should take those sods to the. To the top farm, really. Um, shall we deal with crops? I can't really be bothered to deal with crops. I have no real specific reason. Uh, they do donut holes too. That may, do you know what? It honestly makes a degree of sense that any donut shop would. Um, you're shooting yourself in the foot if you don't do the donut holes as well as your donuts, aren't you, really? It just seems very daft not to. But still. And hot food, burgers, etc. Nice. Sounds like a very pleasant place to be. Uh, sweet home. Do 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 do. Uh, we, whoops, that's not quite what I intended to do, but oh well, never mind. It, it re replenish my my energy. It's fine. It's not a problem after all. It's just not quite what I intended. I went to go to the library. That was where my brain was at. I wanted to go in the building down here and into the library. I might need to swap that zombie background as well. Um, I suppose arguably we could do with possibly. What was I trying to do? Oh, storing my stories. Boom, boom. There we go. Excellent. And now let's just see if here yeah, we do. We do have enough to do some zombie juice, which is nice. Try and do that. Uh, they will theoretically be getting better when Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer gets added. But even then, there are like 20 decks that can abuse that card better than heroes. <sighs> See, I don't like that. It shouldn't it shouldn't be other decks that can abuse the effect of... Uh, that's why I can see why... I can see why a lot of those... Uh, very much they sort of focus on this idea of specifying... You can't do this if you include this card. You can't summon anything other than this if you include this card. So they are trying, I suppose, to mitigate and reduce that sort of thing but it doesn't it's not working that much <laughs> i suppose they can't put caveats upon caveats upon caveats upon caveats on every single card they're already ridiculously lengthy card names in the first place uh right so really i'm, I'm i think i'm gonna need more blues at this point because i need to get myself Oh, no, I think it might be on mining. Uh, yeah, I need marble quarrying, which will mean getting to 50. And then I need the art of stone, which means getting to another 50. So one way of doing that, to a certain extent, is potentially trying to sort of build some of these. Now... The stone cross is one of the most effective ones and easiest to build, I suppose, is one of the key things. Um, and it adds four, so it could be worthwhile building a bunch of those. 
Yeah, go on. So, three, four, eight. And if you're thinking, I don't understand any of those numbers, uh, that's not quite what I've meant to do. That's it. Oh, no, I can't do that. Wait, no. Uh, shitey, shitey balls. Shitey, shitey ball bags. Shitey, shitey ball bags. Oh, no, I think it has actually worked. Okay. Not enough resources. Okay, that's fine. So I need to... Oh, God, I can never remember quite how to do that. There we go. That's it. But I think I've got enough for what I wanted to do over here. Uh, do, 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 do. That's it. There we go. In fact, I've got exactly the right amount. How very convenient that it worked out that way. Uh, can zombie juice ever be called nice? It depends. It depends on precisely your definition of zombie juice, I suppose. Excellent. Well, that first 50 I said I wanted. Because if it's, like, just named zombie juice, it's probably fine. But if it's a little bit more, sort of, weird. Ah, zombie crawling on the white, on the white side. That's it. Zombie crawling on the white side. So we want to go to the quarry. And get our zombie quarrying on the white side. Uh, quarry, please. And now, get the zombie on the right side. Hello, Mr. Zombie. I'll take you out of here. And put you in, ideally, where the quarrying is. Okay. I may need to do something else here first. No. Nope. Oh, maybe I need to do it from here. Yeah, that makes a degree of sense. Um, I don't know how accurate this is, but some info graph, infographic about the OCG format says 39.1% of tournament decks are running DPE, 14.3% are running the Brave Engine, 186 are running both, and only 28% are running neither. Mm. And you've also got to be careful of something named Zombie Juice. You do. You definitely do. That is undeniable. Uh, so here's the right, so we need pickaxes. And I think you can do two, so I'm going to want two pickaxes. So let's pop home to sweet home Alabama. And then we want two pickaxes, which means we need f six simple parts. It's a bit more than six, but that's fine. Ah, cock. Ah, big cock. Big cock in your face. That's what we don't want. We don't want big cock in the face. Slapping it around. Please stop that, Mr. Big Cock. Only if you call me Daddy Big Cock. Never gonna happen. Uh, I don't know where <laughs> any of that came from. It was just words and sentences in a most disturbing fashion. And now two pickaxes, please. And two pickaxes. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a quarrying zombie. Specifically, a quarrying zombie of the second right variety. As I say, I'm 99% certain you can never mind. Oh, I see I didn't have the rest of the materials, did I? Of course not. I mean, strictly speaking, I don't need both because I don't have enough zombies, but still. Well, actually, tell a lie. Do I have enough zombies? Is there a zombie in here? So there is a zombie in there. Okay. But you can't mine any more uh, iron because there's only one porter zombie. Uh, so I suppose let's go back to Sweet Home. And it... Oh, I can't remember now. I think it was Flitch and... Flitch and Nails. That was missing, so we'll grab a couple more supplies of that. And uh, yeah, we'll do the 24, that'll do nicely. And now, probably, I, was gonna say, I didn't, I had doubts that was going to be correct. Uh, side note the flu boss. <laughs> Sorry. The flu boss. The boss of the flus is a giant penguin. Ah, I'm definitely getting that deck when it hits Master Jewel in two years. Nice. So I imagine if you uh, convince Malice he might be able to build a penguin deck, he might get on Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I doubt it, but you never know. If you ask nicely enough, perhaps, maybe, maybe, just maybe, it's just not worth it with that body. It's a shite 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 body. 
It's a shite body. It's a tolerable body. Let's remove that gravestone and put in one of my fancy ones. I can study it as well. That could be well worth it. Let's go downstairs and study that because that's a blue. That is a blue one. I don't think there's ever been a blue one. Symbiote, that is, if you are unaware of the reference. But I, I'm unaware of a blue one, but then I am criminally unaware of most of the uh, symbiotes because uh, for for me it was kind of like um, it's one of those ones where when I when I was reading the comics it was like yes here is the symbiote suit the symbiote suit is now venom venom has now spawned carnage and that is all um, nowadays there's so much more symbiote uh, stuff gone in and yes look at all those blues i am blue and i am double d and i am double die a double d double die double d double die that's it what you have to do is dab or die you have to do do the little dab else you're going to die and if you die to the dab and then you're gonna live in misery. I might as well remove that tombstone, especially because it looked suspiciously like I had not studied that one. So could be well worth studying that. So to the downstairs. I had to make the transition last a bit longer. Uh, there is kind of a penguin deck already, but it's probably gimmick status at best. Uses the level 6 Synchro Penguin Brave. Certainly, I, I mean, I know there are penguin monsters. I don't think they're particularly sort of viable, but there are penguin monsters available. Because if memory serves, there was uh, the one of the big five. Um, this is going back to original, original series Yu-Gi-Oh! One of the big five uh, inhabited the body of an emperor penguin. And did things with the penguins. Dirty man. Dirty little boy. What's he doing doing things with the penguins? Swine, sir. But no, in, in all seriousness, he he did have like a penguin deck. Eat your sour crap. I just can't be bothered to come back to this gravestone. Will you please get to work on the gravestone? Thank you. you dicky died up. Uh, Flues! pretty simple and surprisingly strong you can pretty much guarantee people will be complaining about it oh dear i mean you can guarantee i'll be complaining about it <laughs> uh yeah we might as well uh do this one as well hopefully uh oh shit no i can't do that uh, well it's gone now we'll just have to build another one in a moment or two do we have the 50 yes we do excellent right the art of stone so once we get a little bit of marble coming in the house we should, with a bit of luck, be able to do stuff with it. Oh, that wasn't sauerkraut. That was uh, one of my fish pies. Interesting. Uh, so a piece of stone. We'll break down those graves because, fuck it, I don't need them. Penguin soldier with his little sword. Yeah, penguin soldier is one of the classics. The absolute classics. Uh, we'll do that one as well. Break that fence down at some point. And I believe we can break down the... EE -E -E Sports. It's in the game. There we go. I can break down the wood fence. That's what I was trying to find. Just failing miserably. But yeah, Penguin Soldier. Penguin Soldier was a nasty little bugger in the uh, in the olden days, I think, because he's got a flip effect if memory serves. Or is he the normal one? Maybe I'm getting it confused with another Penguin flip effect. But I do think there was a Penguin flip effect that was a nasty little bugger. Nasty little bugger who do terrible, painful things to your very soul. And where is your soul? Halfway down my body. Uh, I think that was Penguin Soldier. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, do, do, do. A ding. And ding. And one final ding. Excellent. Right, so do we have any marble yet? No, and we need uh, bricky dickies, and we need a chisel. Seal. You need a chisel there as well. 
But yes, we're going to want uh, her sticky wickies and a chisel. Sticky wickies and a chisel. Sticky wickies and a chisel, baby. Sticky wickies and a chisel. Can I get the lens yet? Am I able to lens? Lens. Lens bot. I don't know. Lens something or other. But can I have it? Do I have lenses available? No, I don't think I do have lenses available. So I suppose at this point, just a bunch of steel chisels. That will suffice. Uh, the only penguin thing I remember about Yu-Gi-Oh! is that one dude from Season 3. Ooh, Season 3. Are, are we... Is that Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 3? Or Yu-Gi-Oh! What would be 5Ds? I'm assuming you mean Yu-Gi-Oh! The original. Season 3 of Yu-Gi-Oh! The original. In which case, I think we might have been talking about the same guy. If we're talking about the Penguin Man. Who was one of the big five. Are we talking about Penguin Man who was a big five? Yeah, he's a big five. He's a big bad five. Nah, John. Um, do I... Oh, no. Okay, that's a different chisel. Maybe. No. I don't... I'm confused. I don't understand. What is that, then? That appears to be a different chisel. That appears to be an independent chisel. Oh, I see it's an iron chisel. Oh, we... Well, I mean, I don't have iron chisels. I just assumed if I got a bigger chisel... Um, it would be a better chisel. I didn't think they were going to be quite so pedantic about my chiseling. Uh, anyway, we need to find those sort of um, bricky things. Where are they? Where are you? I don't appear to have them. How do I build jointing? Uh, or the, the, the little sort of... For wood wedge, there we go. So I need billets. Do I really not have... Oh, no, I suppose I don't have billets, do I? Well, I'm getting myself a fuck ton of billets. I suppose usually, usually I keep my billets elsewhere. Uh, let's just quickly pop to the lighthouse. Just have a chat to this man. I don't have the acid. I don't have the ability to talk to him about the Necronomicon. And I don't have the ability to talk to him about vampires either. But all in all, I don't have much uh, going for me. But what I do have... Um, is no inventory space. Never mind. I did technically get all my blues anyway, so I suppose that'll do, won't it? Uh, floats. No, I don't really need anything from these people. These people can go away now. The maths guy that wanted to make a theme park about penguins. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, you remember a lot more than I do. I only remember the fact that he was obsessed with penguins and became his sort of avatar of the... I don't remember the exact name of the card. It might have been as simple as Emperor Penguin. Um, but I feel like they might have put a little bit of a jazz on it. Target up to two monsters on the field. Return to the hand. Yes. That, that, yes. That is absolutely... That was a brutal effect. I mean, arguably, that is still, to this day, that is a reasonably good effect. Um, especially with a couple of these other monsters lurking around. Because... It's always fascinating sometimes with this, because it's like some of them, they are very much like, no, when it dies, that effect does not trigger. But others, they're a lot more generous with the sort of, well, actually, what we can do here is have you... You've killed the monster, but the monster has still flipped, and therefore it activates. I'm fairly certain that's one of the ones where it will still activate when dead. So it can be dead and flipped, and that doesn't make a difference, uh, which is quite useful. Right. Uh, I'm just going to shed loads of wood wedges. Can't hurt, can it? It's going to take a, an age, uh, but still, we've got a bit of time. We'll do some wood wedges, then we might have a... Yeah, I think we might go do a cheeky prayer. And then finally back to sleep, and I'm gonna, I'm really gonna try and get maybe some of this marble sort of situation sorted out. But I fear the the porter is not bringing the marble as quickly as I need it to be brought. Uh, but if I with the shitload of wedges, I might be able to go and mine my own marble and bring it back myself. But we'll have to wait and see. I wouldn't mind at least building one statue. Uh, that's my sort of end goal, but I don't know how fireball that end goal is going to end up being. Unfortunately, oh, but there you go. 
Honestly, I, I did enjoy the Big Five chapter uh, of, of Yu-Gi-Oh. I, mean, I thought it was quite fun. Because um, they were all trapped in the virtual world, and I thought that was a very entertaining storyline for me. I, I enjoyed that. Uh, the other one I quite enjoyed was the capsule monsters. It was a bit sort of... It was uh, it was a bit different, I suppose, is the key thing. Just that little bit different, but in a way I liked. Because sometimes, of course, they make it a little bit different, and I go, oh, I didn't enjoy that. It's a bit too different, that one. Oh, I didn't like it. Where was <laughs> that one? I don't know. It was a refreshing welcome that was like, yeah, I, I enjoyed that. But yeah, capsule... Was, I think it was literally just capsule monsters. Um, I even quite enjoyed... Certainly I enjoyed playing the game was Dungeon Dice Monsters. I thought that was a nice variation as well. Uh, with old Duke Dolan cheating. Cheating up a storm, the little shit. Um, or rather, I suppose, it, arguably, it, was, it wasn't technically cheating, cheating. It was he knew all of the rules and Yugi didn't. Because <laughs> Duke made up the game. So naturally, Yugi's not going to know the rules of a game he's never played versus the man who made the game. Um... He still won, of course. It's Yugi. Of course he won. But, yeah. I, I quite enjoyed Dungeon Dice Monsters. I quite enjoyed the concept. I almost wish they could figure out a way of doing it in real life, but I just don't... It's just not viable. in, a, in, in a, Not in as straightforward a way as they sort of showed in the TV programme. Because the idea of being able to sort of go, and I dimension the dice, and the dice... You know, you need the screens and the hollow deck stuff for that in... Even in you know in real life, I think, because he couldn't really roll the dice with a little figure inside, because the figure would just break. Um, but it, it feels like it would be really fun still. I suppose you could, you could have a larger version of the dice with a miniature inside, and a smaller version of the dice. So you roll those dice, then you dimension the dice, but you dimension the larger dice, and that reveals the figure inside. But um, I think that would get very sort of complex and people wouldn't necessarily want or need it at all. Um, so that's kind of like, uh, who cares? Uh, right, so I think one of the key problems I'm going to have is the fact that, oh, the fact that I haven't got any space in my inventory. Uh, is that, oh no, that's, yeah, so technically the pickaxe should leave my inventory but I suppose it might be worthwhile leaving the uh, leaving the witcher's eye because that seems to just not be doing anything at the moment and I don't know I don't the problem I've got is I don't know if that's me having fucked something up and therefore not triggered something that I need to trigger at some stage or wh whether that's it's not supposed to have triggered at this stage but I'll, I'm going to carry on and hope for the best is essentially the plan at the moment which I know it's not the world's greatest plan. Uh, stone stockpile, that means I'm going to do that, but then not... Uh, but yeah, it's also, it's slightly smaller than the other stockpile, which is awkward. But I don't think I've got the resources to build the bloody mine thing that I wanted to build now. Um, can I actually build a second porter station? I suppose the paper is the only way to find out, really, isn't it? Go and get some paper. And then I... Ah, there's some marble. I'll take that back with me. I'll have my... Just make up the rules as you go along to always favour yourself. Exactly. That's the way to win games. <laughs> going to head off now. I'm becoming sleepy. Hope the graves don't rain too hard. That's fair. You're not going to miss much. Because, uh, as I say, I do... I would like to be able to build one of these bloody uh, statues, but... I fear the viability of that is uh, swiftly becoming... Nope, you are not going to be doing that. But still. Uh, right, we've got those. Yeah, I was going to say, I need... I need another... It's because I've got too much stone and not enough anything else. Uh, what do we need? Stone? No. Stone cutter? No. Uh, stone storage. Where's am I? Am I blind? Or is it not? Stone stockpile. Eight flips. That's it. Oh, good night, Mr. Chester Phoenix. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. You didn't know there were bed bugs, but now you do. Now you do. Now we know. Now 
we know. Do, 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 do. Put all of those wood wedges there, I suppose, because I don't specifically need them. Uh, grab my flitch, because I do need that. And now, stone. Stone, 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 stop. I still need more flitch cock. I need more flitch cock as opposed to more ha uh, hitchcock. Ooh, cock. Cock and balls. Every cock and balls. Uh, it won't be English for quite some time, but they just revealed an interesting new card being released for the OCG. Ooh. Oh, what is that card? And why is it interesting, I suppose, is the key thing. <laughs> um, you, you can't really just say what the card is because it will mean nothing. It's, it needs that piece of information about why it's interesting to understand the full context of uh, why it's interesting. I need that flitch. <sighs> Come on. I just want to make a statue. I just want to make a statue, but I don't think it wants me to. Uh, that is not what we want. That is not... What was that I tried to build? I don't know. Stone cut. Stone stockpile. Stone stockpile. Please. I do sort of, I'm slightly concerned about bringing in quite so many stockpiles, but I'm going to need it for the sake of putting this marble on it. And, you know, I can always destroy some, but I might have to I might have to go to the porter and tell him to stop bringing stone. Because um, otherwise we are going to have problems. I think we'll do that. Pop to the quarry and tell him to stop bringing stone. No, he can bring iron ore. Um, stun. I mean, yeah, he can he can transport that, but it's not going to make much difference. But now he should only be doing the marble, so hopefully that will work out reasonably well for me. For me, uh, and I could put both of them on marble, but no, I think one one is going to be enough. It's just that porter situation. As I say I should have brought paper along with me this time round. Am I really? But oh well. I don't think there is a second porter. I think you only ever get one. Oh, God. Right, hopefully, what we'll see here... Oh, wait, no, no. Why is there stone? That's not... Are you... Are you bringing stone here? You shouldn't be bringing stone here. Why is it... Do I have a... No, I don't have a zombie there, do I? No. Oh. I don't understand now. I don't understand why there's was sudden stone. And why the zombie's not now here. What the fuck is the zombie taking if he's not taking if he's taking Oh he's taking iron ore. Okay, that's fine, it's taking iron ore, that's alright. It's level one fire fairy effect. For fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred, that's high for a level one. No technically like levels don't denote attack strength as much as they perhaps once did, but that still feels oddly high for a level one. Usually level 1s are below a 1,000. Um, but there you go. The rules, they are a changing. Right, here we go. Three pieces of marble. Now let's get that marble. God damn it, come on. There we go. Let's get polished marble. Chip away at it. Polished marble. Polish my balls today. They are flying like you wouldn't believe. Marvelous. And polished marble is also giving me... Uh, <laughs> when I polish my balls, and also gave me... What did it give you? I wouldn't like to say. Uh, okay, so ideally, yeah. So there's no, there's no possible way of getting a gold class statue. But I suppose there there is use for bronze as well, I think. So we'll build a couple of bronzes. Uh, but we will have to save up for the higher grade chisels uh, before doing any other kind of statue. I can't remember how many statues I needed, but I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take these, pop to the graveyard. I mean, I, we've actually done a surprising amount of graveyard stuff. Kurikara Tanu, which is apparently some Buddhist deity disguising itself as a small child. I don't think that should be allowed or encouraged. I mean, I hope it's not encouraged, in fairness. Ah, bastards. I do need silver star statues for the marble columbarium. Well, Colin Bollocks. That's right. His name was Colin Bollocks. His job being Bollocks. Uh, but it's got a giant flame dragon associated with the deity in the background. It looks great. I'll post it in the thing. Excellent. 
uh, I always like a good dragon. Uh, polished brick of stone, polished brick of marble, pop the statues in there, fuck it, might as well. And yeah, we, we kind of failed. It's fine, I suppose. We do need to figure out lenses. Let's see where lenses lie and how far off of lenses we are. Uh, healer enthusiast. We should probably investigate that a lot more, but I'm kind of doing the base game at the moment. Focusing my efforts on that side of things. Do, 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 uh, it's got to be in jewellers, isn't it? Surely it's got to be one of these, right? Smithing? Yeah. Oh, no, I do actually have it. Okay, create lens at Carpenter's Workbench 2. Are you a Carpenter's Workbench 2? You are. So somewhere I should be able to do lenses. So I need polishing power. Polishing what's it? I can't remember where I get polishing what's it now. I don't remember where I polish my what's it. I wouldn't have thought so there. That seemed an unlikely choice. Are you... Oh, polishing paste right underneath. Even by my standards, that was a lack of looking at things. Right, let's try and get a lens. This is, this is always the problem with this game. It's always like, right, I want to do this. You need to do this first. Then you need to do this first before that. Then you need to do this one. And, this is, and this is all of the steps. And you just keep trying and doing it. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned by tributing all face-up monsters that have activated their effects this turn while in your opponent's main monster zone. Interesting. So it's kind of... It's kaiju kind of, but one can't pick its targets. Two can remove more than one thing potentially. And three stays on your side of the field. Yes. Yeah, I suppose that's... I'm assuming it's going to have some kind of... archetype that... will be summoning affect monsters to your opponent's zones if I'm hang on, let me just double check that I'm interpreting that sentence correctly must be special summoned by tributing all face up monsters that have activated their effects this turn while in your opponent's main monster zones yeah so that feels to me like you're not necessarily getting rid of your opponent's monsters although it doesn't look like it specifies you can't but it does feel like maybe the archetype is going to be I summon this effect monster to your side of the field and it does a thing. I summon this effect monster to your side of the field and it does a thing. I now summon my big Kurakara Tenu and it's getting st well, getting 1500 attack for each monster attributed by this summoning procedure. So it could be astronomical attack strength. Um, if I'm guessing correctly as, as to the archetype. If I'm not, then I'm just wrong, I suppose. Uh, so, ice, ah, right, okay. So I need to find, I suppose, get a, a silver star chisel. Now put that silver star chisel in the next stage and hope for a gold star chisel. It remained a silver star. Uh, but I suppose that we're gonna have to do it a few more times to hopefully get, uh, nope. Uh, Come on, gold star. Nope. Uh, I have a run out of lenses. I can, I can see this not working well. That's all my faith gone, which is not going to help. There you go. We shall see. Come on, chiseling. Golden chisel! But unfortunately we can't make a statue now because I haven't got the faith. Uh, yeah, I need five more faith to do a chiseling. But I suppose we now have a golden chisel. So I suppose we ought to be semi-pleased. I'm not, but we ought to be. Let's get myself another couple of uh, these chisels in the hope that at some point we can perhaps try and pop the... Uh, the other chisel on there. I think we might be able to also, because I just happened to notice that it's Merchant's Day, and I think we have sold our seven now. I might be wrong, but let's talk business. The sales have not been made. Okay, then. Let's have a look in here. I see. Okay. So, crates sold free. 
So I've now sold three crates. Unless I can't sell all seven until I've done... Maybe I need seven of these, so I'd need like, what, four more? So 40 flyers? I'm not convinced I'm going to get 40 flyers anytime soon. Let's tell. So they have to be face up and in their side of the field, then activate their effects. Things like Baron de Fleurs negate. It wouldn't trigger on stuff like danger cards. Activating from the hand to special themselves. During your end phase, target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon it to your field. Interesting, yeah. Also, I suppose it is relying on your opponent doing it then, after all. I just figured it would uh, perhaps have its own self-fulfilling uh, destiny sort of thing. Sweet home it is, yes. That is where we want to go. We want to go downstairs. We want to grab the wine, I suppose. Uh, pop the wine. Pop the wine in my cellar. Arguably, I'll probably want to try and get the zombie back on the wine delivery, but we'll see. We shall see if I want to do that. Or if I don't, I want to do that. Uh, do, 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 do. We want to write some flyers, so we need paper. In order to get paper, we need uh, pigskin paper, I suppose, will suffice. No, well, it won't. You need paper paper, but the idea of getting some pigskin paper and then turning it into normal paper will suffice. Unfortunately, I'm about to run out of energy, and I don't think I'll do much more on it, but we will sort of... We'll perhaps leave a breadcrumb there, suggesting I do want to come back to that and deal with it at some point in time. So I can steal one of the things you tributed and use it against them. Yes, that sounds quite good. As I say, if, if it had been sort of getting stuff out of your own graveyard, I suppose, uh, at that point I would have perhaps been more convinced that I was correct in my assessment, but um, I'm assuming not quite so much. The potential white boards and be really strong, but if your opponent suspects it and doesn't play into it, then it might just be a brick that you can at best set for a bad body, yeah. Uh, doo -doo. Yep, I think what we'll do is do a little sleepy. Do a little sleepy, yeah, doing a little sleepy. And then I think it's time to put it away, because otherwise I'm going to be playing it all night, and I probably best not. Um, don't get me wrong, I probably could, but uh, I, I, have, I feel the urge to not do so. I think it would be wise. Anyway, I'm so refreshed, and now I got back to the main menu. Not sure how much play this thing will have, but as I said, interesting potential. Yes, as I, as I say, I, I, you know, if they built an archetype around it, where you would be, I mean, I suppose there's an argument. Maybe you could build an archetype that goes into your opponent's graveyard. That would be something very different. Probably silly, but very different. Um, but if they played an archetype that you know, not only you played the monsters on your opponent's side of the field, activate their effects for something, then they go to the opponent's graveyard, and then you can summon them back from your opponent's graveyard. That would be very peculiar. Uh, very peculiar indeed. Oh yes, very peculiar. Being named Julia, it's very peculiar indeed. Doot. Oh, that was... Oh, do you know what? That was the one you mentioned the other day. What was the name of it? Let me just double check. That's it, Mayakashi. <laughs> I couldn't help but the moment you mentioned that card, all I could think of was Mayakashi, Mayakashu, Mayakashi, Mayakashu. Hoo, hoo. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that, that's very silly. Um, but there you go. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Being level 1 to 4 definitely helps it. You can at least try to link it away or some such if needed. Yes. Being level 5 plus like a D shifter would hurt. And there we go. Oh, that is a hell of an art piece, isn't it? Um, that dragon is is very, very nice. A very nice one. Um, and then a cute maiden. Weirdly, looks... I suppose arguably it might come from similar backgrounds, although I think that one was possibly Amaterasu. But there's a Vanguard card. A Vanguard card. Uh, from Cardfight Vanguard or whatever it's called, I think it's I think it's just Vanguard, maybe I don't know. 
but the, the, there's a card devilishly similar in design that sort of flowy dress with the ribbon on just Im instantly re reminded me of it so it must be reasonably close to a motto you have yourself a little oh, let's go to the interim slides so it's bigger at nine o'clock oh chester did say pillars of eternity i think it was uh mr nickerin is doing pillars of basement. eternity <laughs> He's not doing that. He's not doing that tomorrow night. Um, he is, however, as I say, I okay, think doing the pillars of the And, and the the that is Chrono Cross. I think Chrono. Yeah, Chrono, uh, no, Chrono Trigger, sorry. Chrono Cross is the other one. These but, words are um, so dumb that I will not alter them. Nonetheless, it, it's one of those ones where it's like, oh, I must play it. I must play it. It's, it's just ridiculous that I haven't yet played that game. But there you go. It's just one of those things, one of those things, oh, one of those things, indeed. And he just blew a raspberry, uh, but he's also on 10 o'clock tomorrow, where it's difficult to know for certain, but there may be some Sea of Thieves, there may be some Faz, there may be some Geoguessing, there may be some general party games, there may be some painting. You said you were back on the painting, so I'm assuming maybe you'll start with a little cheeky paint. Um, what you're painting, you haven't said. I don't think, I, I, I fear when Can't Sleep asked you, you dodged the question. And when I asked you, you dodged the question. And you keep dodging the question. What are you painting? So I don't know if you're going to reveal that or not. Or whether it was even conscious. Oh, it is Colossus still. Colossus Forever. Okay, that's perhaps why you dodged the question. Uh, as I say, I think you, you didn't specify on Can't Sleep's, but Can't Sleep guessed. So maybe that's why... I didn't see a confirmed answer. But yes, Colossus. I'm assuming you're doing the... Enimim. Enimimim. 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 Non-metallic metal, for anybody who doesn't know the acronym. Enimimim. Uh, it's basically a way of... Instead of using a metallic paint, um, I mean, anybody who's painted knows this, so I apologise for making it sound quite so sort of condescending, perhaps. But nonetheless, you get like metal paints that will give a shine, and that's basically what I use. I use metallic paints because they make the shine for me. Stuff like lead belcher. Uh, there's a silver as well that I use. I can't remember the tagline for the silver, but nonetheless, stuff like that. Um, mad people, mad people do it via a series of blues, greys and other such colours in a lovely gradient across the surface. Granted, it looks much better, but it also strikes me as being incredibly difficult. Uh, but yeah, um, I did do, I have done a little enimimim. Uh, but I, I sort of did a hybrid by just sort of going, here's some metallic, and there's a little highlight on top of the metallic just to really make the metallic pop a little bit more. But outside of that, I never plan on doing full NMMM. Uh, <laughs> I can't help but say it like that nowadays. So, yeah, I don't think... Well, I say I don't plan to. I don't... I suppose arguably that is a fact. I don't plan to. Whether I ever do or not, I don't know, but I don't plan to. Uh, do, 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 do. Anyway, I had a shout out lined up for Mr. Blue Bush, and he will be on at 10 o'clock tomorrow, I believe. Oops. Enter the button, enter the button, or button the enter, one of the two, I don't know. Keep spawning just here. There's a right fine. And that was a little bit of phasmophobia, and I don't know. Did that cut off? This is some bullshit. Or did that, was that supposed to be like that? We'll do another one, because it seemed short. And I apologise, I have besmirched you almost to length. And we are having trouble with the connection, of course. It's <laughs> almost like a problematic. I don't know fully why. Oh, this is very easy. Oh, no. Again, it's cut off. Weird. Hmm. I'm going to do another one. Six, six, six. I know, like, just tons of them, but 
I don't know. It just feels like they're cutting off a bit. And there's the bug. What the hell is a Where did this zoo come from? from? And and a... <laughs> <laughs> it lived in your nightmares for days. <laughs> but I love the fact that we started synchronising <laughs> quite so well. Because the barrage, I everybody, die. everybody got involved. <laughs> <laughs> just continued the barrage of poker money. <laughs> but it's, it's, about, oh, it's one of those majestic ones. And there we go. The other clips must not have been cutting off because this one looks to be fortunate. Oh, right. right. But it, it, uh, there's something, something oddly beautiful about this sort of non verbal agreement. What did this pile of that happens? Where did this come from? Because, huh? like, one person, one person went and looked through the stickers. And they spotted that sticker and they thought, you know what, I'll pop a pocket bunny on. And then you mentioned it, you mentioned it, and you, you made the mistake of mentioning it, which is why I'm not going to acknowledge what just happened. You made the mistake of mentioning it, and then everybody else in the stream went, yeah, we know what to do, don't we? Yeah, we do. Pogu bunny, pogu bunny, pogu, pogu, pogu bunny. And it's just like, whoa, okay. I mean, so good. So good. Um, but yeah, it is one of those odd delights. <laughs> just as I say, that the fact that it's like, whoa, everybody synced up and everybody did it perfectly. Um, it's nothing like it. Absolutely nothing like it. Um, do, 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 do. Do 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 do. Hey, have you had a little do and a little love a do and a bit of do do when you do? Hey hey hey. Do 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 in a do de do sort of do de way. If you've never had a do and you've never had a day, then you've never had a do de do de do de day. Uh, do 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 do. I'm sort of scrolling through and looking at the bits and pieces that make up the options that I have. I don't know if I can really be bothered to do a little raid, cause you know I never really stick around, so I don't think it's a hugely worth a while anything at the moment. Shall we leave it? I think I might leave it. Yeah, go on, fuck it. We'll leave it. We can't be bothered. I should really, but I can't be bothered because I need to go to bed and get some sleepies. But still, there you go. Anyway, I will be back. I don't know. Probably not until Wednesday now. I don't know if I'm... I'm not really feeling uh, doing the extra streams over the weekend. Uh, so I probably won't do them. Uh, but we'll perhaps try and be back Wednesday, assuming nothing happens in the interim, but we'll see. Um, yeah, Wednesday afternoon. Uh, cheerio.